this is typically what you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis as a farmer. This spaghetti mix of, well, I don't, a tension belt. It's called a ratchet strap, and I'm pretty sure everyone's had experience with something close to this. And, you know, the, the standard procedure for winding this back up is doing something like this or making a circle if it doesn't have this type of hook. What if we made a tool to fix that? Ratchet straps come in a variety of sizes, but the farm standards are two types. Or maybe even three, if you want to go that far. But the main two that we use, four inch and five inch. But, you know, from time to time, we can slip down to threes or two. So, I want to build a wind-up tool based on a video that I saw that can carry up to a five inch ratchet strap. Wait a minute, that's the wrong stock. I haven't quite dialed it in yet. It seems that I had my hand printer set to flat bar rather than round stock. Give me a second. Dang it. Now this is the basic design. I know, it looks like a salad fork, but don't try and eat a salad with it. You couldn't if you tried. Now I'm just gonna tack these, just like it is, with the TEG welder, and then maybe fully weld this side up if I like how it goes. Now these are specifically six inch lengths. This is because five inches of this six inches is going to be used to roll up up to five inch ratchet straps if that makes any sense. So I wanted an inch of weld on both sides just to make it simpler on myself. Those welds definitely aren't pretty, but that is probably a functional ratchet strap winder. I'm going to trim the ends so that they're even, and then I'm going to stick it in the drill and figure out how it performs. Now, of course, this thing is comedically long. So let's address that really quick. We've got it to a nice short length so that I can just hold the strap up as such, but again, it's still too hot, so you get the basic idea. Now, at first, it is a little hard to get used to, but check that out. And it gives you that perfect little inside wind. Now, if you put it in reverse, it has some interesting side effects. Oh, dang it. This does give me a chance to show you how it works. You just slip that in. And then once you're done, it kind of slides off, but, yep, there we go. It was too hot, so I didn't want to too in depth, but there you go. Functions as intended. So I can use it for all the way up to five inch. Sadly, I don't have a five inch with me. I will do that when I have the time. Thank you. 